Good morning students. This is a paper on interreligious studies value based and it is under skill enhancement course. It is of two credits which you have to study in semester 3. Now there are four units having about 12 topics which you have to study in this paper. In unit 1, you have to study nature and need of interreligious studies, scope of comparative religion, then you have salient features of Hinduism, Jainism and Buddhism, salient features of Christianity, Islam and Sikhism. Then in unit 3, you have to study similarities and differences among religions conflicting truth claims of different religions and interreligious harmony. In unit 4, you have to study religious tolerance and secularism. The topic for chapter 1 is nature and need of interreligious studies. India is the birthplace of many faiths and has accommodated and nourished multiple religions. She has provided a common roof to major world religions for their sustenance and growth. The intricate mosaic of diverse faiths, beliefs, traditions and languages in India is indeed amazing. India is a pluralistic country. This plurality is not a new phenomena to our nation. In India, there are many religions, cultures languages and races. Over the years, the social, political, cultural and economical changes have brought in a lot of plurality. Industrialization, urbanization, modernization and education also has contributed to the plurality. Now we live in close proximity with people of other faiths, cultures, races, and people who speak different languages. So the plurality has become a fact and it is a way of life. We have to understand the already existing plurality and also the new pluralistic reality created by modernization and globalization. Dialogue then becomes an obligation. So the present and the future generations have to be more pluralistic in their attitude, in their perspective and in their day-to-day -day activities. The world has shrunk in size and is fast shrinking through the rapid means of communication and interrelatedness. A new world society seems to be emerging. Men and women of all religions and of no religion are together involved in a united struggle to build a new community life. The situation demands openness to one another and understanding of each other as persons in relation, which includes relation to their faiths whether these are religious or secular. Interfaith dialogue is a process of mutual understanding among people at the level where they seek to know the mystery of human existence. As the inhabitants of the world come closer due to rapid progress in science and technology, people become more appreciative and sympathetic towards others. Gradually, people come to know that one has to accept the coexistence of religions. Existence of one's own religion alone is not the reality in the true sense. The coexistence of multiple religions is the reality. In India, we have many religions practiced by our people. Religions play a vital role 
in forming our attitudes and thoughts, ideals and values of living. God inspires and guides every individual and group to engage in the world in a special way. Hence, religions become the finite human expressions of one divine mystery and have to fulfill the task of bringing people together as believers of this mystery in love and justice. Concretely, it means the spiritual and human development of all, leading them to harmony and transcendence. Now, the historical development of religious studies. Religious studies, alternately known as the study of religion, is an academic field devoted to research into religious beliefs, behaviors and institutions. It describes, compares, interprets, explains religion, emphasizing systematically, historically based and cross-cultural perspectives. The notion of interreligious studies signals a new academic perspective on the study of religion characterized by a relational approach. Interreligious studies defines the essential features of interreligious studies compared with alternative conceptions of religious studies and theology. Interreligious studies investigates the relation between various religions and worldviews, the tension between conflict and dialogue and processes of religious transformation in pluralistic societies. Religious studies originated in the 19th century when scholarly and historical analysis of the Bible had flourished and Hindu and Buddhist texts were being translated into European languages. Early influential scholars included Frederick Max Muller in England, Cornelius P. Tele in Netherlands. Today, religious studies is practiced by scholars worldwide. In its initial years, it was known as comparative religion or the science of religion. And in the USA, there are those who today also know the field as history of religion, associated with methodological traditions traced to the University of Chicago in general and in particular, Mercia LED from the late 1950s through the late 1980s. The religious studies scholar Walter Capps described the purpose of the discipline as to provide training and practice in directing and conducting inquiry regarding the subject of religion. At the same time, Capps stated that its other purpose was to use prescribed modes and techniques of inquiry to make the subject of religion intelligible. Religious studies scholar Robert A. Segal characterized the discipline as a subject matter that is open to many approaches and thus it does not require either a distinctive method or a distinctive explanation to be worthy of disciplinary status. Different scholars operating in the field have different interests and intentions. Some, for instance, seek to defend religion, while others seek to explain it away, and others wish to use religion as an example with which to prove a theory of their own. Some scholars of religious studies are interested in primarily studying the religion 
to which they belong. Scholars of religion have argued that a study of the subject is useful for individuals because it will provide them with knowledge that is pertinent in interpersonal and professional contexts within an increasingly globalized world. It has also been argued that studying religion is useful in appreciating and understanding sectarian tensions and religious violence. Intellectual Foundation and Background Before religious studies became a field in its own right, flourishing in the United States in the late 1960s, several key intellectual figures explored religion from a variety of perspectives. One of these figures was famous pragmatist William James. His 1902 Gifford Lectures and the book The Varieties of Religious Experience examined religion from a psychological philosophical perspective and is still influential today. His essay The Will to Believe defends the rationality of faith. Max Weber studied religion from an economic perspective in the Protestant Ethic and Spirit of Capitalism 1904 to 1905, his famous work. As a major figure in sociology, he has no doubt influenced later sociologists of religion. Emile Durkheim also holds continuing influence as one of the fathers of sociology. He explored Protestant and Catholic attitudes and doctrines regarding suicide in his work Suicide. In 1912, he published his most memorable work on religion, The Elementary Forms of Religious Life. Now, the nature and need for interreligious studies. Firstly, to understand one's own religion better, interreligious studies helps us to understand our own religion better in the context of pluralism. It provides opportunity for us to study our scriptures, doctrines and dogmas. It helps in clarifying our doubts by reinterpreting our dogmas and giving us strength and wisdom to understand our scriptures in the pluralistic context. It also helps in the enrichment of our own religion. Through the study of other religions, one gets an opportunity for the enrichment of one's own religion. It educates its adherents theologically and also helps them to create new theological insights about other faiths. Through interreligious dialogue, the adherents of each religion develops openness and broad-mindedness. Thirdly, it helps to avoid religious fundamentalism and communalism. Interfaith studies is essential to avoid religious fundamentalism and religious fanaticism, which leads to religious communalism, results in arson, looting, killing, rape and damage to properties. But interfaith studies provides opportunity for people of different religions to come together and discuss about their religions, clarify the doubts and promote inter-religious understanding and create inter-religious relations which avoids frictions between religion and religious communities. It helps mutual enrichment. Interfaith studies helps each religion to grow and develop mutually. 
the opportunity created in studying different religions helps to clarify their doubts, misconceptions and misunderstandings about other faiths and further contributes towards other religions, development and growth. This is a very positive aspect and important dimension in the context of pluralism. So far, religions are antagonistic towards each other, but now through interreligious studies, they help each other's development and enrichment. We are more and more becoming aware that man's personal and social life and religion are dialoguely structured. Dialogue here is understood as a mode of being and a way of living. It is a sharing and a process of mutual enrichment. Like all realities, dialogue too is a paradox, a paradox of rootedness and mobility. It removes misunderstanding and misconceptions. Misunderstanding and misconceptions created about other faiths disappears through the help of interreligious studies. Knowingly or unknowingly, a lot of misconceptions and misunderstandings about other faiths are created. The tension created between religions through these misunderstandings can be removed. Theories that say there will be clashes between civilizations, cultures and religions become meaningless when we experience the possibility for unity and fellowship between religions through interfaith studies. Interreligious studies also creates respect for other religions, for other faiths. It not only alleviates the misconceptions and misunderstandings, but also creates respect for other faiths. It provides an opportunity to realize the truth revealed by all religions. It also promotes interreligious understanding and interreligious relationships. It helps in interreligious understanding and develops interreligious relations. It enables us to overcome exclusive claims and our exclusive religious identities cross beyond the barriers created by religions and create good relationship with other faiths and involved with activities which will promote the welfare of the society. It helps us to transform and have common identity. It enables to create a common human identity. Interreligious studies also creates interreligious social understanding. Dialogue enables us to develop interreligious social understanding to understand the social problems of our society, of the pluralistic uh, context and to address the social problems and issues from an interreligious understanding and approach. Interreligious st studies brings communal harmony. It helps us to bring harmony in the society. Many a times a certain part of our society have witnessed communal riots which are be becoming a threat to the communal harmony. Interreligious dialogue tries to alleviate the com communal violence and brings peace. It promotes peace from different peace among different religious communities. Hence, it is useful for social change. Interreligious studies provides opportunity 
for the adherence of each and every religion to come together and work for social change. It enables the believers of each religion to realize their social responsibility and to commit them for indulging in working for social change and to do social work. It also makes them to understand their religious teachings and expects them to get involved in social work and social change. Hence, we conclude by saying that interreligious studies focuses on learning interfaith principles and doctrines. Learning creates a place for debate and dialogue, both of which are important means of cooperation. One problem that often brings about misunderstandings and prejudice comes from the languages we use to identify people. Interreligious studies teaches the power of language to understand and communicate religious doctrines to others. This in turn promotes religious harmony and national integration.